example we're given, a triangle that has two sides of length 8 and 12 with an included angle of 45 degrees. So let me set that up. That's 8, that's 12, and this is 45 degrees. I'll draw in the third side there. Now, I'm not going to try to use Heron's formula yet. I'm going to try to use old-fashioned Sokotoa here. The thing is, remember, Sokotoa only works in right triangles, and I don't necessarily have a right triangle here. So what I'm going to do is draw an altitude, drop a perpendicular from the top corner of that triangle, and now I do have a right triangle, and I'm going to try to find the length of that altitude. I'm going to use Sokotoa. Sine theta is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So sine of 45 is equal to the opposite. Now the hypotenuse of that little triangle is 8. So root 2 over 2 is equal to the opposite over 8. That's because I know the sine of 45 degrees. That's one of my common values. It's pi over 4. And I memorized the sine and cosine and tangent of all the common values way back earlier in the course. If you haven't memorized that, you really should commit all those um, common values, 45 and multiples of 30, to memory. Uh, so if I solve for the opposite here, I get that the opposite, the length of the opposite is equal to 8 root 2 over 2, so that's 4 root 2. So that means that that altitude is 4 root 2, whoops, I wrote root 4, is 4 root 2. And now we can use the old formula from geometry for the area of a triangle, just 1 half base times height. The H there stands for height instead of hypotenuse. I know that's a little confusing to be using H for two different things, but we're kind of stuck with that in English that hypotenuse and height both start with the same letter. Um, one half, the base here is 12, and the height we figured out was 4 square roots of 2. So we multiply those out, that's uh, 6 times 4 square roots of 2, that's 24 square roots of 2 for my area there. So that one came down to drawing an altitude in the triangle and then using Sokotoa. We didn't really have to use anything fancy like the law of cosines or Heron's formula, although we could have, and you'll see some examples later where we use the law of cosines and Heron's formula instead. But in this one, we just drew this altitude. We used Sokotoa to find the length of the altitude, and then we used the old-fashioned geometry formula, one-half base times height, to get the area of the triangle.